looking at Taco Bell. But first I have to pass this job training simulator. And if I do a really good job, I'll be able to work there. So I guess I gotta put on this visor here. Now we're inside of the job simulator. This is where all of the really cool jobs are located at. And on these cartridges over here are all of the jobs that you can do. But the one we want to do, since we're going to be trying to work at Taco Bell, the closest to that would be the Gourmet Chef. I know if I do a really good job inside a Gourmet Chef, I'll definitely get that job at Taco Bell. So then what you do is you take the cartridge and you just put it inside of Drop simulator. Kitchen. Do I see an aspiring chef? <gasps> of course. So then, once you put the cartridge in, you just pick which one you want to do. Let's just do the classic breakfast. That's probably a good thing to start on. So then, after you figure out which one you want to do, you're just gonna take this camera right here and you're just gonna pull this down here like that, and the lever will take you to hopefully Taco Bell. We'll see where it takes us to. <gasps> Oh, wow! Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. Oh, this is like a real restaurant. This is so cool. Is that a fish tank over here? Oh, and they've got bread. Look at this bread. Oh, wow. And a grill. Oh, it says, oh, is it fire? Oh, it's got a stove. Oh, what does this do? Switch it to a pot? Oh, it's a pot. Oh, okay, so that's a sink. What does this one do? Oh, it's a microwave! There's a microwave oven! There's a sandwich? What's this? What's this? What's this? Like a sandwich is? Oh, look! You can make your own sandwich! Oh, look at the blender! Oh, you can probably blend up some fruit. Oh, there's some fruit here. This is going like an orange. Oh, awesome! And then there's a toaster. Oh, that's probably what the bread is here for. Let's see what that does. Set it in. Push that down there. Start by making some breakfast. Classic breakfast. Oh, bacon and eggs. That's so easy. I know how to do that. Okay, so we gotta get the bacon out. Oh, uh oh, I'm still in the pantry. Let's this. Okay, gotta get the bacon out. So let's see, one piece of bacon and an egg. How do we? Oh, I wonder how do we crack? Do we just crack it? Oh, okay. And then we turn on the grill. Oh, oh, that is so awesome! Look at that! Now put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. Oh, we don't want to burn it. Uh oh. Oh, look at that egg! It's perfect too. It's not burnt or anything. Oh, so it says, okay, so you put the egg and the bacon on the plate and then we must hit the bell. Oh! I hope you enjoy your breakfast. Oh, look at the box there. They got their eggs and their bacon. Oh, oh, what should I do with these eggshells? Oh, I wonder if I can hit them in the bottles up there. Oh, let's see. Oh, score! Okay, hi. Hello. Hello, human. Hello. You might I trouble you for some tea and crumpets? Oh, tea and crumpets. Tea is a traditional human beverage consisting of heated water and flavor. Let's begin with heating some water using a kettle. A kettle? Oh, there's the kettle right there. What, what is this right here? Oh, it's a piece of bacon that I ate earlier. Mmm. 
Okay, so there's a paddle, and oh, we need a sink. So let's turn this over to the sink, okay? And we're gonna add the water inside of it. So let's go ahead and put it in there, and then we'll add the water. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, uh oh, oh, shoot. Pour a little bit out. Okay, so then we're gonna heat it up here, and let's go ahead and heat up the tea. I believe we should get a cup, or maybe we should put the tea inside of here. Oh, okay. Oh, I think the tea is done. I think it's ready. So let's go ahead and turn it off, and let's pour the tea into the cup here. Oh, it looks like he wants a crumpet too. So let's see, let's go ahead and put this over here and let's see if we can find, oh, crumpets will probably, oh, we can find some crumpets. Yes. To cook fried items, humans use devices called toaster. Oh, toaster, of course. Okay, so let's pop this back and let's put this to toaster. Okay, and let's put this inside the toaster. Oh, this is gonna be great! Crumpet! Oh, okay. And then we put the two. Oh, he wants two crumpets. Okay, so we gotta do this again. So there's one. And let's do another one. And let's put this one in. Okay, and so then he's got, we'll put his cup of tea right here. And we'll put his second crumpet on here. Is that everything? Okay, is that fair? Order up! Oh, I hope you enjoy it! Oh, this is so fun! Oh, is that a radio? Oh, wow, I didn't know they had a radio player! Let's see! Totally disco! I love disco music! Oh, let's see what happens! I need to see this! So let's put that in there. Push that up. He wants to do As you can see, there are several different kinds we can make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. Oh, okay. So let's switch this to pot. Okay, so now switch this to pot and sink. So let's go ahead and get this out of the sink. Okay. So now we've got our sink. Oh, then we have to. Oh, of course we've got to put water in the pot. So let's grab one of our cups here again and add water inside of it. Okay? Because it says, okay, so guys, it says you need a one cup and then the water. And then we'll pour the water inside. Okay, that's not a whole lot of water. Now fill it up with whatever kind of ingredients you want. Oh, yay! What do you think kind of soup we should make? What about chicken soup? That might be good. Let's see. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, there's a potato, so we can put a potato inside, and some corn, that would be good, corn inside, and let's see, let's go to our refrigerator, and our well, let's see what we got in the freezer. So, to make chicken soup, you obviously gotta have chicken, so we'll throw some chicken in there, and hey, bacon's always really good too, so maybe we'll put some bacon in there, and, oh, meat pot. yeah. Put some meatballs in too. And let's see what we've got in the refrigerator. Oh, we can add a tomato too. The tomatoes are always really good. So we'll throw some tomatoes in. Oh, some mushrooms. And a carrot. That'll be really good. Okay. And then it looks like we have to turn the stove on. Oh boy, this is going to be a really good can of soup. So let's see what they cook there for us. Oh, what's this? Fire extinguisher? Oh, I think our suit is ready. So let's turn the stove off and let's see what we got. Oh, boy, it says potato, corn, and drumstick soup. Ooh. Okay, so we sat down in there and we mm, Just like Mombot used to make. Oh, good. Okay, let's see what the next thing is. Order up. Let's see. What do we got? What's the next one? Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. 
Humans refer to this as a sandwich. Uh, a sandwich? Okay, so we're gonna just turn this to sandwich. And let's see what we got. Oh, ooh, let's see what kind of sandwich you wanna see. Okay, so it says four times, or times four. So, let's see, we put one, four things. So one, let's see, let's put some cheese on there. That'll be good. And, we got, oh, why don't we put some stuff like in a steak sandwich? So let's turn this to the grill. And we'll grill up some steak. That would be, that would be really good. So then we'll turn that on. And while that's grilling up, maybe we can do some more eggs. So we'll put the eggs on there too. So we got that. Uh-oh, egg stuff. Okay, uh-oh, we want to burn it. So we'll put that on it. And we'll take some pepper too. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> that one's getting pretty well done. Um, Don't worry, we'll serve it anyway. Oh, cool. Okay. So let's put that salt here. And let's put some of this on there. And let's put olive on top of there. Yeah. I'm trying to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich. So we'll take it off here and then we'll set it on the plate. It's a combination of bread, tomato, and cheese. Chefs would put their own twist on the dish, adding additional food items known as toppings. Oh, pizza Let's begin party! By blending up some homemade tomato sauce. Oh, okay. Oh, look, they want they're gonna have a pizza party out there. So pizza for so first you're gonna make tomato paste. Okay. So let's turn this to look like a blender, and that's why our tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes we gotta go to the refrigerator. Okay, and let's get a tomato. Oh, let's get a tomato out. One tomato. Okay. Delicious. Now apply sauce to bread. Oh, okay. So we gotta get this bread. It looks like take the bread and put it the sauce on the bread. Oh. We are almost there. Okay. Combining the bread with some cheese in the microwave should fulfill all material requirements. Oh. Cake 101. 
It says you need basic, so simple, basic cake recipe. One egg, one flour, optional items. I also have the cake book there. So it says we need one egg, one flour. Okay, so let's do that first. We need one egg. Okay, uh, so we got one egg. So make sure you use a good score to sew. Um, ew. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, guys. I, I, I thought I could go to, I thought I could go to lunch. It looks like I'm not, ugh. Oh, I don't know about this job. Oh, jeez, guys. I, I'm not sure about this job. This is a lot of work. Oh. Guys, I think I'm going to go back to the castle. And I don't seem to want to give lunch breaks either. So I'm not sure if I really want to work this out. But maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, i got to get back to the castle. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you had a lot of fun. Bye. Hey, did you guys notice that there wasn't even any tacos in this job simulator? How am I supposed to work at Taco Bell if there's no tacos? Well, while I'm waiting for Taco Bell to hire me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and tell all of your friends about the video. And why not check out some of these other really cool videos on the channel. And we love you guys, and we love Bell, and we love Taco Bell, and we love Job Simulator, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys, love you guys, bye!